In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to add uh, libraries to the categories or to the, the library section of Groove Animator, SVG libraries. So you can see here, these are all that uh, come with Groove Animator. And uh, over here in the import section, we've got a button that says import to SVG library. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you this according to if, um, if you grabbed the upsell Groove Animator art bundle. So you see here that I downloaded that and I unzipped it. So that here's the folder. Now the, this could actually give you a little bit of insight. And if you wanted to do another collection, you do want to make sure that they're all in folders and within a larger folder. If you want to do, if you want to import them one at a time, and really this is how it needs to work. You need to have subfolders in here, even if you had just one. So it doesn't. The name of the fo the folder that contains all the subfolders really doesn't matter. But you'd need to not have subfolders within these folders. So your SVG files would be in these folders here. Now, um, in a separate video, you want to take a look at the formatting for SVG files. There's a specific format that does work to, for the for the basically the stroke animations to work. So you want to check that out. Note that there's no PNG files. The previews are are, are come straight from the SVG files. So you don't need to create previews as in other programs. Um, so uh, it's just going to go ahead and use those inside of the application itself um, and so forth. So um, as long as you have a structure like that, you should be able to up upload third party uh, plugins or, or art. Uh, contact me if you want to make art for Groove Animator and you know, sell it and so forth. I can give you more information. But um, ours are, is of course structured like this. Simply download it, unzip it, and it's going to look like this and go into Groove Animator and then import that library by clicking on the folder itself. Now, again, don't drill into it. Just click on the folder itself, open it, and what it's going to do is it's going to copy all of those folders into basically the Applications folder so that the application will recognize it. Now, you see here that it's not showing up. I do need to restart the application. There is a shortcut for doing that, on at least on the Macintosh, maybe the PC2. Command R will do that. So let me go ahead and do that. And or you, if that doesn't work for you, Control R on a PC, then just restart. You know, close it and reopen it, and then your libraries will show up here. Now note that they'll be alphabetical according to what's built into the app, and then it'll start after that with what has been added. So um, if if something doesn't work, if you click on one of these and you put it on here, and it's not again, if it's it, all of the ones that come with uh, the um, uh, Groove Animator Art Bundle uh, are have been tested, so uh, they should work. And if they don't, let us know. But if you're working with some third-party thing and it doesn't work, then watch the tutorial on how to structure SVG files properly so that Groove Animator can animate them because it is, um, again, some programs do let you export SVG files in various ways. And there's a couple of ways that, that Groove Animator can't work with um, because of the way the code is structured. So uh, check that out. But you know, normally they'll, they'll work and uh, especially with those that come with Groove Animator Art Bundle. And that's how you import art to go into the libraries of Groove Animator.